Hi Pisces, welcome to your bonus read for the week. I'm gonna be taking a look at the person on your mind and their true intentions for you. I'm gonna start your reading off with the love oracle messages to look at the situation between you and this person. Then I'm gonna jump into the tarot section and look at their intentions for you. And I'm gonna close off the reading with the hidden truth oracle deck and pull some messages from this person of what they're holding back from telling you. Now this is general and it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read with that being said let's go ahead and jump right in show me the situation between pisces and the person on their mind You two are at a crossroads. I have a crossroads party and ghosted. Um, somebody became indecisive to make some changes or go to an event with the other person and ended up either just disappearing, ignoring them, finding reasons not to show up or even be seen in public. This is difficult because um, and I feel like somebody says, well, I'm, you know, I gotta get my finances together. I gotta get this and that together, but it is difficult because somebody here is not wanting to be seen in public. Uh, it makes me feel that they're hiding something. And if that's not you, that would be them. But, um, someone's feeling like at a crossroads about that and, and going to a, maybe even, could be that they don't want to go to a social gathering. So if this is you invited somebody Pisces here to hang out with friends, um, go to a celebration, something like that, they are going to not respond to you the day of, or they're giving you um, mixed signals about it. And it does feel like they're just uncomfortable. They don't feel comfortable going to whatever this is. Um, something like they're not ready for it. Hopefully you two can just talk this out and talk it through, but let's go ahead and look at this person's true intentions for you. So show me this person's true intentions for Pisces, please. I'm going to move these up a little bit. Okay. Okay, Pisces, this person is not ready. I feel like they have a lot of social anxiety. Um, they're not going to work really hard at this. They're going to try and shortcut their way by being sneaky or strategic with certain things. Um, I don't see it so much as getting what they want as it is that they're just kind of giving up. They don't feel like they can work hard enough. They are hiding something definitely from you and we're going to find out what that is here but it does feel like social anxiety this person might be introverted they spend a lot of time alone they're more about their financial situation and making money that is something that makes them happy but when it comes to you and their intentions for you we have the eight of pentacles in reverse we also have the seven of swords and then the nine of swords that comes out so it's not really good at all because they're not they're they're giving up. It's like they are making themselves overly busy with other things and not working hard enough to find a way to make things work with you. I also get this person likes their independence. They like being alone. Um, they like, you know, I feel like maybe even a relationship might be something that stresses them out. Maybe they've been alone for quite some time. So let's go ahead and clarify this eight of pentacles. I have the temperance card that comes out. They want to take things slow, you know? They want to enjoy um, their time with you and they like where things are going, but they want to take things slow. They're not going to work hard enough to for this situation and meet you um, halfway of going to this event or a social gathering, whatever this is, or being out in public. 
And they could also, I feel like if they work from home, like they keep themselves busy and they work from home, it's been a while since this person has gotten out and they might actually have anxiety from leaving their house. That's, that's difficult. And if you're like, well, I meet them for coffee or we've gone to lunch, that seems to be okay to them, but too many people gets very overwhelming for this person and it makes them actually have a panic attack and they don't want that to happen in public. That's something that is this, this situation in particular is something that, um, you know, they're not telling you and they should, they should open up and tell you, but they definitely are just wanting to take their time and see where things go and, you know, Let's be patient. I don't want to rush anything, but they're not working hard too. It almost feels like a bit of a procrastination. Like let's just see where things go day, day to day. So be careful of that in case you're not getting exactly what you want or deserve out of the situation with this person. So let's go ahead and clarify this seven of swords. Just know also, um, Pisces that, um, relationships and commitments are going to be tested especially on the 13th of this month so where is my book i just had it and i was reading it it was my uh astrology jur uh, journal but anyways um commitments will be tested you know and it does feel like you should put more time into yourself if somebody's not going to give you what you're looking for now this person you know they're lying about um Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So they do they're not looking for a serious relationship and that's what you need to know. This person, you deserve someone who's going to value you more um than this person does. And it feels so closely related to your weekly reading that I just did that if you, you know, put yourself out there and say something, things can change. But if this person continues to display this kind of behavior, then why not pull back and put that energy and effort and time into yourself and do something nice for yourself? Make them see what they are missing. You know what I mean? Um, because if you open up with communication and you close that uh, communication gap by telling them how you feel, what it is you're looking for, what you want, if they still don't show you that they're 100% serious about you or that they are going to make you important in their life or they're going to give you the time that you deserve, then you know that you can cut that off very quickly But um, with this person and move on. Um, which feels hard because I know you like this person, but there is a you two are at a crossroads. And it also feels like this person likes to go out and party, maybe even with friends and stuff. And that's something they feel they can't have. Um, this could all be worries of what they're going to lose. Like them feeling that, you know, I, I feel like they're lying about a relationship because that ace of wands is coming out that they're just physically attracted to you but still wanting to be single they really focused on money money is so important to this person um materialism is not everything i get that they're trying to achieve something but they could include you in their life it doesn't mean that they have to exclude you so let's go ahead and clarify this nine of swords the justice card they worry that you are going to learn the truth. Okay, so there's worry about the truth coming out. Um, the Ace of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. And whatever that truth is. Hmm. It would be the fact that they are not looking for a relationship. Like I said, if they can't show you that they really want to be with you, it's okay to pull back away from this person and do something for yourself. And I wouldn't even reach out to them after that. If they're going to dismiss you like this and they're going to just kind of disappear for a little while, go silent on you, ignore certain things, or make you feel that rejection um, where you try and they just keep pushing back like no, then it's okay to do for yourself so that way they can have time to reflect on, oh, I'm missing out. Make them see what they're missing out on because, you know, them wanting to take things slow, not a bad thing. But 
like let's take it slow and see where things go but then it jumps into the fact that this person is lying because they just want physical intimacy like this person wants to hook up i just see hooking up there's no love here i don't see them making this serious and then you know worried that you're going to learn the truth also they are going they might be going through some financial issues as well and that might be the truth that gets um uh found out like this person could be going through a legal matter could be i don't want to say a divorce but a legal matter being in the justice system this could be you know they're facing a judgment they file for bankruptcy you know they're they're going into a civil suit with somebody there's something happening in their life that is making them feel they have to make more money you know um worried that the truth is going to come out and you'll find out and maybe that you won't want anything to do with them but they don't know unless they open up and tell you, right? So all you can do is your best. And if it doesn't work, Pisces, that's okay. Because somebody else is going to value you more. And putting time, effort, and emphasis on, you know, putting um, the energy into you and taking better care of yourself in the remainder of this month as well is going to show this person like, oh my God, I missed out. And not only them, I feel like you're going to really attract some good energy of other people. And just saying, someone else might come along that's better than this person that is really open and ready for you know getting to know you and see where things go and really interested in a relationship. But let's go ahead and take a look at um, what this person is holding back from telling you. They're conflicted, Pisces, and it has a lot to do with what they're going through. It also has a lot to do with the fact that maybe you're more social than they are, and they have social anxiety. They don't go out that much. They work a lot like they're a workaholic. They're so focused on their work that they can't put any effort into a relationship, really, and they want to take time with you and just date and get to know you. However, you know, they are deceiving about a relationship because they just want to hook up and maybe that's oh that's the thing they might also be deceiving themselves like no i'm just gonna make this casual i'm not gonna get serious i get a feeling they're going to get hooked on you and then be like oh my gosh and it starts off we need to let each other go this is how they start things off when they start to get nervous and they worry about the truth coming out and they worry that you might not accept them for who they are something about their insecurities they're like we just need to let each other go and it's because they're not putting in the work and effort towards a relationship they need to be open and honest and tell you the truth um even if it makes them feel very nervous the honest thing to do or the best thing to do is be honest so i want you absolutely they do physically want you um they have this attraction to you obviously i feel like this is so new that it's not love if you two have been seeing each other for a little while they want you but i'm not seeing love here i wish i had treated you better this is going to happen whenever you decide to pull back from this person now do they come around and say anything to you and try and fix things I don't know, but the fact of the matter is if you make them miss what they no longer have, they might actually change their tune. And if they don't, then you'll know if this person is strong enough to be with you or not. I'm so attracted to you. So I get that they're physically attracted to you. I also get that they're emotionally attracted to you. Not so much love, but it comes off that um, this person really like spending time with you they think you're smart they love the conversations they like your smile you know there's so many different physical and emotional uh, qualities that they are attracted to and at the bottom of the deck i can't stop thinking about you this is something that they really are going to miss because of the fact that you know you pull back and say well if you you know if this is what you want and you want to be left alone, okay, and just leave it at that. They have to change their mind. At least you're trying to do what you need to do. Um, I feel like I just, that's so repetitive. I feel like you are trying to make things better for yourself 
by kind of getting rid of uh, anybody who is going to ignore you, you know, disappear on you. And if they don't appreciate you, they will miss you in the end. So this is what I have for you, Pisces. If it resonates, go ahead and hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.